Got Roy and Lush chilling. They're gonna say hi. Lush race. Gassing it. Okay, now that we've got the camera fully charged, we got Lush here. And uh, I'm gonna show you some basic dog training tips and tricks for the uh, average dog or taking your dog in the outdoors. Okay, bud, sit. This is a basic sit command, and uh, I think this was the first command I taught him. This is probably one of the easiest to teach, and um, it leads into other commands like the stay command which he just stays in this position and the release command where he releases and um, most of his training um, I use some positive reinforcement treats um, we've got these nature recipe dog chews and we've got the milk bone um, larger dog chews that I use for some more um, fun tricks for Lush and me that I'll show you a little later but once again, we'll go back to the basic command. So it's the sit command, and all I do is I take the treat, and I put it over his head, and it kind of makes him want to sit. Now, if he doesn't want to sit, you can lightly press down on his behind and push his butt to the ground a few times until he learns the sit command. And then, of course, after that, you give him the treat. Now, eventually, you want to work up to he's doing the sit command without actually receiving the treat like he did earlier. So once he gets the, the treat, you want to try to the stay command, where you say stay, and you extend the period he stays each time with it. At first, he's only going to stay for a few seconds. Um, and also try walking away, because if you walk away, sometimes he will follow you if you walk far enough away. But Lush has learned, I can pretty much tell him to stay, and he'll stay. Alright, Lush. Let's try it. And the third command that I like to use, um, especially in the outdoors, is the release command. So the first command is the sit command. And I tell him to sit, and I hold the treat up so he can see it. And then when I do the stay command, I put my, my hand out with my palm towards him. So the first command, we go over his head with the treat and say sit. Second hand is the palm out, and we say stay. Now on the third command, I bring my hand down by my side and say release and he'll release. So, sit bud. So he sits. You might notice I have this orange collar on him. This is um, particularly good for the outdoors because it can help you see your dog. Some people like to attach a little bell here and also an ID tag. He has an ID tag, it's just not on him right now. And um, the bell is so you can hear him if you can't see them in the outdoors and <clears throat> we go hunting sometimes and he can kind of look like um, a deer bounding through the woods so I figured I'd get him a hunter orange collar um, it'll help you see him when you're outside and it'll help so people don't mistake him as a deer so I like to add some more fun tricks in so I got um, the bigger milk bone biscuit and I'm gonna do one of the fun tricks and show you how it's done so basically we start with the sit command, so he sits, and then we come here and we place the bone on his nose, and, ah, well he missed that one, we'll try it again. Sometimes he doesn't always get this right. Come here bud, sit, good boy, stay. I also like to integrate the audio commands in so they they get used to the audio commands as well as the visual hand gestures we'll try that one more time since I don't know if we got a good shot of that that's actually the last milk bone but here we go sit stay stay put your nose down there you go good boy see he likes that one so that is our basic outdoor dog commands, and um, you know it's great having your dog outdoors, but just like you being outdoors, you got to be safe and got to keep them safe. And uh, hopefully, we'll do some more series of outdoor um, 
Outdoor Show Dog Command Series. Thank you.